How's it going guys and welcome back to another video and another beautiful morning on River Hill. I've just been keeping an eye on Tyson. He's down there. I don't know where he went to now. But um, yeah, he's having a good time. He really does love the river. He spends a lot of time down there, which is good. I mean, he's enjoying the space. Yeah, he is just um, running down the hill here. So I don't know where he went to now. He's down there somewhere. Yeah, just having a good life enjoying all of the space but yeah we have got a little bit of work that needs doing over at the farm we are going to be plowing that grass field today and also extending it but before we do that i have got a few things that i need to show you guys one of which you can see um sort of right there so i decided that we're gonna go ahead and build this uh, lumber mill where we are going to be making our own planks, but I had a bit of a change of plans. I was going to do it really cheap and small, and then I sort of decided to rather do that. Now, I will say this wasn't massively expensive. It was slightly more expensive than what I initially wanted it to be, but I kind of felt that if we're going to do this, we might as well just do it right from the start. Now, again, this wasn't cheap. A lot of this is repurposed products. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the groundworks was the biggest job. So I got the guys that did the restaurant and um, they they built this platform effectively and they used shotcrete again to sort of keep everything sturdy and together. And I got the guys that are building the restaurant building itself uh, to help me with this shed. So the, the sheets, the roof sheets, I bought in just a scrap pile effectively. Uh, bought a whole bunch of those sheets and they were massively cheap. So that was good. And then the guys that were actually building uh, the, the building here, I actually did help with this, but they said, oh, we've got a, a bunch of old lumber if you want to buy that. And I just went, yeah, sure. And it was super cheap. So that was good. Now, the mill itself is over here. So it's nothing fancy. It's obviously tiny. Nothing like a, a big industrial um, operation would have like across the road. But I did buy this new. I decided I wanted to get something that's not going to give us any issues. Uh, so I bought this new, and that is hopefully going to do really well for us. So we're going to make our own planks. But yeah, so um, a lot of the the building, like I say, is sort of repurposed old products, which is nice. Uh, kept the, the cost down. The The most expensive part was the, um, the platform itself. But I think it's going to work really well. I, I do think it's going to work really well. We do have quite a bit of space back here as well, where we can sort of store product if we need to. We can maybe even use this as a shed for now to keep some of our equipment just because well we don't have a shed back there yet but uh yeah i'm quite happy with this i i just thought you know what we might as well just do this right because it's going to be quite a bit of money anyway to do this off the bat even if we do it relatively small and for not much more of an investment we can just go much bigger on this and then we're not going to be so limited on capacity if we do want to expand in the future uh, we have the room to do that and it would just be cheaper to do all of this properly in one go rather than trying to sort of add on to it later. So yeah, that is our um, our shed and our, our new lumber mill. So we're going to be doing a bit of work on that uh, very, very soon or in there very soon, making some planks and hopefully making some good money. I do think that this will pay for itself relatively quickly. So um, yeah, that is that is my hope. Anyway, um, let's head down to the restaurant and I'll show you guys what's sort of been happening over there. Right, so the first thing that you'll notice is that we graveled the driveway, but we also went ahead and graveled the entire platform where we are actually going to be building. Now, initially I kind of thought that we'll do gravel after construction happened because I didn't want all of the construction equipment sort of destroying our beautiful gravel and we'll have to come in and re-level and sort of redo it but i spoke to the guys and they were like listen we're gonna just bring in one telehandler and maybe one or two skid steers and it's gonna have minimal effect and we're quite happy to just patch up afterwards it's just gonna be so much easier to do the graveling before there's a massive big building in the way because we want the the gravel underneath the building as well so yeah we're not going to be able to sort of get it in there unless we manually shovel it so just just do it and we'll sort of 
clean it up afterwards and it'll be fine. It's just small construction equipment that's going to be coming in. Nothing like massive excavators and wheel loaders and stuff like that. So I went with their recommendation and we did the graveling and it looks really good. And I think they're kind of right on that. So it also worked out um, because I ordered a little bit extra so we could use that up at the mill. Just to prevent any sort of you know, mud bogs and everything forming. Uh, where we're going to be working with timber and that sort of a thing. Just to keep it nice and neat and sort of dry-ish and clean. So yeah, worked out really well. And then obviously the fence as well. I bought just a massive big pile of scrap wood. And built a nice fence around here. And that's just going to prevent people from like, well, slipping and falling into the river. But also from driving into the river. Because yeah, I don't want that to happen. That'll be really bad. And I also built, you might have seen up at the... The mill, I built a little fence around that as well, just to make sure that I don't accidentally drive off the side of a cliff with the tractor. So, yeah, that's just to keep us and um, our future customers a little bit safer. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with how this is all turning out. So next is literally going to be building the restaurant itself and working with the guys when they were building the mill up there. I can tell you that this is going to happen very, very quickly. They're very good at what they do. So as soon as they have the posts and everything in and set and the concrete is dry, I think this is going to happen very quickly. I have also been keeping an eye out and starting to look at like tables and chairs and things that we'll obviously need for the restaurant. So I'll be making a decision on what I want to get real soon on that. And we'll get that um, bought and well, just kept. We won't have it delivered just yet but we'll we'll get it all bought and make sure that they've got stock of everything that we want and when the building is up we can um, get going as soon as possible so yeah that is all of the updates on the property with uh, regards to the mill and the restaurant but we are gonna head over to the farm and we'll grab the 6250r and we'll get the plow hooked up and we're gonna be plowing that grass field and extending it as well so um yeah fun field work which is uncommon this time of year but the weather's still pretty good no frozen ground or anything so i think it's a good idea to get it done now so yeah i will see you guys over there all right back at the farm and i am getting the john deere warmed up in the shed there but it's been running for a little while so we'll grab it in a second but look at that view how beautiful is that? These fields are looking absolutely fantastic. So good. I love that. What I also love is the smell of freshly plowed soil. And we'll be experiencing that in a second. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. It smells so good. But yeah, anyway, let's grab the tractor. Also, I noticed that the old man isn't here and he hasn't been here a lot lately. He's been very busy, but I do kind of know that um, this is a very busy time of year for the trucking company. So that's why um, he doesn't spend much time on the farm. He's working over there. So yeah, it's all good though because, well, I don't spend much time on the farm this time of year anyway, either. So yeah. It works out just fine, and it kind of suits me if he's sort of busy with something else as well, because it just frees up my time a little bit more as well, because, I mean, we, we do have an agreement that I sort of, I, I do my job over here, and then I can sort of go off and do my thing um, over at River Hill or wherever I'm busy with doing something. But a, a lot of the time when he is on the farm, then he'll sort of, like, start on a little project or something, but like he's old and then I feel bad for him and I'm like oh can I help you with that and then I'll help him and you know and it's fun I I do enjoy working on little projects with him and you know spending time with him he's a really nice guy and um, it's good but maybe just sometimes I would rather sort of be doing something else um at that time but I feel too bad to not sort of help him so yeah it kind of works out um I'm, I'm not complaining I'm not complaining at all I really do enjoy working on those a little projects with him but like I say sometimes it's just um it's just not the right timing so if he's busy with other stuff I feel a lot better because um I know he's um doing stuff that he enjoys as well and I can sort of go off and I don't feel like bad for not helping him with something on the farm anyway we need to head out to the field and um yeah I I cannot wait 
to get this field extended out. I've been looking at that field for absolutely months on end and I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna make this field bigger. It's wasted space. So I'm very excited to actually get this done today. So yeah, I think we are going to get the drone out and we're going to be plowing this entire field in and extending it down... Um, a little bit closer to that road because there's quite a bit of wasted space down there so yeah for now sit back relax and enjoy we were bike dirt tires on paved concrete on the right roads just had the wrong wheels but I see you back in town Same shortcut jeans My head still spins My heart still feels Like riding a bike Just you and I Down the long back road Your brown hair blowing In the wind like a did bad day And all the teenage summer nights When I love you You love me too so easy to get that feeling When our eyes meet I can hop back on our love I Like riding a bike Like riding a bike Cause babe our hands still fit You still get that smile And you wind and curse Still drive me That is job done, and that is looking beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. It also smells amazing. It smells so good out here right now. But um, yeah, that is definitely going to give us quite a bit of extra space. And I think it will actually make a big difference. It might not look like much, but a few feet over here, and you multiply that by the length of this field, which is a very long field, that is a lot of extra real estate. I think... I think it'll push the yields up a lot with having that little bit extra there. I, I think it'll make a, a much bigger difference than what you think at first. So that's good. I mean, we don't have like massive fields over here. So we do need to maximize them as much as we possibly can. We recently uh, made this one large as well, did the same thing. So um, yeah, it's good. We're just sort of maximizing what we've got over here. So at some point, we'll have to come back and do lime spreading on this field. And we might actually run the roller over it as well, or maybe just a cultivator, just to break it up a little bit more. But um, yeah, that is a job for another day. We only need to do that uh, just about before we we want to seed again here, which will only be in a few months' time um, into the new year. But uh, yeah, that is also all of the work that we need to do on the farm today. So I am still taking care of the animals and all of that, but I'm not really filming any of it because you guys have seen it and it's not really that um, interesting if you watch the same thing over and over again so um, yeah if you were wondering I am still taking care of the cows and the pigs and they're all doing great um, I'm just not um, putting that into the vlogs right so on our way back to River Hill and there's a few trees that I want to take down over here but one of which is pretty close to the restaurant property so I think we'll stop and check that out real quick I do have the chainsaw so I might actually just take it down while we're there I also want to check if there's any others around. I think there's one other one that might need to come down as well. Now, I just want to take them down now while there's no building or cars or anything down there. It's just a little bit safer. I mean, I could secure them and it won't be a big deal when I cut them down. But we might as well get it done now while there's um, less risk. All right. So the one is up here, just up the hill. 
Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the one. This is the one that I wanted to, to take down. And up there, that is the other one that I think we'll probably take down as well. So yeah, my concern is that I'll sort of cut it down and it'll roll down the hill and plummet down here and like onto a car or into our freshly built building. And I don't really want that. I mean, like I say, obviously I can secure it. I can attach um, some ropes or straps to it and prevent it from rolling down the hill. But it's just easier and more fun to do it this way. And it's kind of safe to do it this way right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, let's do this. Out of the way. Timber! Lovely. Oh, that felt pretty hard there. Okay, it should wedge on these trees if it does decide to roll down, but that seems to be okay. Cool. Righty. Where's the other one? Let's grab this one. Yeah, I think we're going to have to attach a rope to them and pull them down the hill. Because the John Deere is not going to come up here safely anyway. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. Probably the best way to do it. Okay, you're next. Let's go. Out the way, timber! Boom! Ooh, that was a that was a big one as well. Alright, that'll catch on that tree, so that's good. Alright. Fantastic. That is that done. Now, there's a few more trees that I would like to take down. Uh, there's one of them over there. And there's one in there. But I think we can just get them from the yard because i think the john deal drive there just fine coming in from from the top so yeah i think that'll be good i think it's just these two that's a bit problematic they they just concern me a little bit with being well dead and um yeah i was i was afraid that they might sort of break over in a windstorm or, or break in a windstorm fall over and then sort of plummet down the hill and that'll be pretty bad the rest of the trees here seems to be pretty healthy so yeah all good Righty, um, also with the bridge, we, um, we tried to fix it a little bit, and we didn't really do a great job, if I'm honest, but we filled in with gravel and mixed in a bit of cement powder to sort of hold it there. We were thinking just, like, concrete, but I think aesthetically it's not going to look really good, so we decided to go with this instead. We probably could have patched it up a little bit better, but, um, yeah. Anyway, I think it'll be fine. It's sturdy enough, and... I think it looks better now, but we'll see. Hopefully, it doesn't erode away. Righty, um, so we're going to have to grab the John Deere and the trailer. But it's also exciting because this is the the first logs that will go to our mill, which is pretty cool. 